All right, so now that we have, uh, we're looking at a few events, we look at some of the properties, we're looking at the long-term events, we can look at one of the first uh, concepts, actually one of the useful concepts of super properties. Now super properties, as, as the name states, they're properties, but they have, they're special. And uh, the reason why they're special is because the super properties persist across events. So use, super properties can become very useful when you wanna look at something that affects all events. Uh, so an example is sometimes, you want to attach, let's say, uh, where that user came, uh, what, what marketing channel the user came from. And then you can look at any other event based on that. So you look at, okay, based on this specific marketing channel, how many people went on and did this other event, right? So instead of calling it in every single event, you just set a super property and it will get applied to every single event that you sent. It makes fun that already has a few super properties that it sends. So when we look at things like this, uh, there's a few things that are actually super properties by mix panel. Um, some of the UTM tags, which you actually don't see here, they, they tend to uh, be set up as uh, super properties. Uh, the initial referring domain is, is a super property, of course, which is the very initial domain the user comes into your contact when mix panel uh, identifies that user. That that's a super property, and so we can we can set up our own super properties, and setting up is very easy. So we have our mix panel dot register, which is registering the super property. And then we tell it what, what super property we want, right? So we see here for examples, perhaps we want to look at the email of a user across all the events, or perhaps we want to look at, okay, this is the account type. Uh, we want to look at, you know, let's say free users and how free users change on certain events versus paid users. So when you fire mix panel register, and so we'll fire that. We'll fire account type equals free. So this will set a super property. So we'll save it and let's get our data there. And we'll fire, of course, now we know we have two events get fired, our first event. And the second event, click link. Now we can see here account type. It simply gets listed as a property and we also see under the click link so that becomes a super property now so now any other events uh the user takes in this case i'm the user that's being identified by mix panel and you can see this by distinct distinct id which we're going to cover in the upcoming lecture now i have that super property of account type free so any event that i take will get that property attached to it no matter what so this of course means that later on if you do mix panel register and I change it to paid, then any events going forward will become, uh, will have uh, a value of paid, right? So let's fire those again. And let's also fire the click link so we can see that. So we can see, of course, paid, right? So that's a, then we can make a distinction between users who are paid and free. Now, if there's a super property that you only want to set once, we do have some of there, which is register once actually. And mixed panel register once means that whatever properties you send here, mixed panel will try to register them if they don't exist. So this is great if you don't want to overwrite a super property. So maybe that's something that you only want to set once ever and you never want to change it. Um, and you don't want to you don't want to overwrite it by mistake. So mix panel red dot register once will really be helpful there. So the difference between super properties and properties can be a little bit confusing. Just keep in mind there are things that persist across events, and mix panel already uses a few super properties. So this is if you want to look at other things yourself. And once you get to people properties, which is the next lesson, you'll see a few other super properties there.